Hey everybody, this is Seth with Linux MCE and the forums IRC and Wiki. Uh, last night I was talking in IRC with Castle C, who has developed a, a U-Splash that he was using for the system, and uh, I managed to figure out how to get it to work with the media directors. And I'm going to put a Wiki entry in, and this video will show it in action. Uh, first thing I'll do here, of course, is I'm down in my office media director. I'm going to go to Advanced, and I'm going to reboot. It is in place now, so you should see the splash screen going down as it would be as it were yep there it is okay basically what I had to do was make some modifications to the TFTP boot uh, MAC address file for the server as well as do some init RAM FS updating uh, from within inside the MD itself uh, beyond that it's a it's a it's a little lengthy to talk about so I guess I'll just let you watch it boot up here but I will put in the wiki every step it doesn't take long probably about four or five minutes and then you can reboot your machine into your brand new U-Splash. It does require that you have root access at the core of course and root access at the media director because that's where you go to put everything together to get the U-Splash put in place and download the new volume. Uh, and then of course at the core level you'll need to update the TFTP boot file so that it knows to load the splash screen uh, on boot. Anyways here we'll go. We'll watch my media director here in the basement boot up. As you can see, you can still see the TFTP screen there in the beginning, but uh, of course right away the, the uh, splash screen kicks in. Now it does end right before the X loads that with the messaging system from Linux MCE. It ends at the, you see the prompts like for starting the SSH server and the, the few scripts that run afterwards. You'll see those come up at the end right before it jumps into X. So there is still a little bit of dead space between where this ends and Linux MCE actually begins as far as the UI goes. Now this particular media director is configured with UI2 mast. However, it works on all UIs. And I have deployed it on every media director in the house here. So I have it on the EPC. I have it on my TV in the living room, master bedroom, playroom, here, of course. And uh, I also put it on the... Uh, I have another media director down in the basement here that I use for testing. It's on there as well. Like I said, it does not take long to put into place. I know Castle C had created the file, and it is his file, but what I did was I, I put it up on my website so that it could be downloaded by anybody. Uh, after I get his permission, of course, tonight, I'll talk to him in the, in the RC if he's there, but I don't think he'll have a problem with it. He was looking for guinea pigs last night, and I happened to bite, and it does work. We just couldn't get it working right away in the MD environment. Well, now we can. Here you see, like I was saying, the you'll see the secure shell server start up, and then you'll see a couple of those scripts that fire off right before X starts in Linux MCE. Well, there's some CFS mount fails. That's not good, but normal. Yep, see, there it goes. Now we'll get greeted with a familiar X loading screen. This is 8.10 alpha patched and updated to current. And here we go with our loading the initial pieces of this particular media director. Oh look, wants me to reload the router. We'll do that later. There we go, back to our normal UI2 mast. You'll also see there in the background that uh, I'm not downloading Flickr images anymore. I've been working on a script that actually goes out to the moviedb.org and grabs fan art in place of Flickr art and what it does is it looks at your movie collection and then downloads movie fan art appropriately it is not anywhere near ready for deployment yet but I will get that posted up to the forums and the, and the wiki as soon as I can uh, it's still a little edgy and doesn't do a perfect job but you can see of course I must have Bugs Life in my collection and that scene before was from Princess Bride that looks like one of my wife movies Anyways, that's a brief video of the new MD splash screen, and uh, I will put it up in the wiki and uh, jump on IRC and mention the fact that it's been done. Thanks for listening. Later.